Hello everyone, welcome to another Ark Mobile video. My name is Richard and today we have this, br like this, well not really brand new, I placed it like half an hour ago. But we ended up placing this chest down with a bunch of cool materials that I spent way, 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 way too long trying to save up to building. So let's go ahead and today I wanted to build a revival platform with a giant cage around it so we can uh, go ahead and revive Quetzes, Gigas, anything to our heart's content that will not be able to escape this little tiny box. And as long as I can't damage metal, we should be all set, which I believe is every dino, except for like the Dodos with the Dodo TLC. I'm not sure if Gigas destroy metal. I'll find out about that. <laughs> oh well, but in the storage box, I went ahead and by gosh, the amount of time I spent grinding these materials has been absolutely insane. Like, I, I didn't expect 22 geopolymer cement foundation to cost so much, and then I just saw a huge dip in my ancient amber after I crushed so much potent dust. And yeah, it's it's very very expensive because I believe each um, each geopolymer cement requires five potent dust, and then after that you need ten per foundation. So yeah, it's it's not that fun. <laughs> But either way, we have all the materials set up. I want to go ahead and start building. We do have the revival platform right over here. Uh, let's see. There it is. So we can go ahead and place it whenever you want. Let's see. So the revival platform is available at... Let's see. There we go. It is available at level 65, and you can craft it in the fabricator. Well, my character isn't that level currently. I ended up using a Nirvana tonic, so my character was actually put back to level 1. Just the amount of sheer crafting and gathering materials has already brought me back over to level 50 without running a single cave, so I've been playing a lot of Arc Mobile while trying to get this video ready. Oh, hi, hi Mr. Lystro. You're kind of in the way of this video. Let me just fix that. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and the first part, which is always the hardest, that at least I always have a hard time trying to place, their bio platform. It never likes being pla- oh, it actually got green this time. I was trying to do it earlier and didn't let me. Well, that's a lot easier than when I tried building originally. Let's see, gotta move it back just a little bit. Okay, right about one notch forward, come on. There we go. So I already set it up um, with these fat thatch foundations. I'm going to replace it with the geopolymer cement foundations. Um, it's seven long, so like seven foundations this way, and six foundations this way. So for those that want to measure it out, it does equal to, um, to 22 foundations. Now, if you do want, to, if you do want to go ahead and craft the geopolymer cement foundations for yourself, be, be wary. They're also very heavy. <laughs> the only benefit to them is they let you build a little higher. They're, they're heavy, they cost a lot of materials. I mean, I haven't placed them yet, so they, they might look pretty. I haven't actually ever placed one yet. I should have done a test run, but with how much each number and potent dust they cost, I was not going to spend that. Let's go ahead and I, I believe I can transfer one or two. Okay, one is too much. That's going to be an issue. Um, let me just try and transfer over everything and try to fix this. Okay, transfer over all. Pick up just one foundation. Okay, we're, we can just barely move. Okay, let's, put, let's replace the first foundation. Beautiful. I mean, it has a... I don't know what I was expecting, really. <laughs> oh, well, they look really nice. I do like the bevel appearance on them. Plus, they have a nice little color um, coloration to them. I'm not sure how they're going to look with metal, because I there's no geopolymer wall, so I'll have to use metal for the rest of it. But hopefully, go well. Well, we have to just one by one. Okay, there we go. So all 22 of these foundations are all perfectly circling around. The reason why we had to circle them all the way around rather than just like um, build, the found build the revival platform on top is that um, for those that don't know, you can't actually build a revival platform on top of foundations. It has to be on the ground, which is why it's a little bit, a little bit annoying. Okay, let's go ahead to the fun stuff. Thank you, in-game music, for being super loud as always. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and, hmm, I'm gonna first go with all these metal ramps. Hope this will work all right. Let's see, there we go. This isn't really needed, I just, I, I like decorative stuff. You guys know this in all my builds. Okay, then we have a couple more on this side. And then do I, how many more do I have left? Just two? 
I could have sworn to the math right on that. Oh well. Not my problem. Okay, so next we're going on to the behemoth platform, like to these behemoth thingies. I hope I, I, hope I grabbed the right ones. And then the metal behemoth gates as well. So we have these ginormous gates, which they're, they're a little bit big. Um, I can't see it because of the chest in the way. Okay, right about there should be good for the very first one. You just want it so it hits right in the corner so the walls won't be in the way of it. As well, it's just high, um, it's it's based on the ground rather than on the foundation, so it shouldn't be an issue when we um, start, go ahead and build the walls, which I'll probably just do a jump cut because by gosh, 154 walls can be a little insane. Oh, we fell a bit. Uh, can I still get this placed? It's kind of hard to see the foundations. If only there's an easy way to make things parallel. I mean, I could with like a bunch of fence foundations, but by gosh, am I lazy? Okay, that should be just all right. So next thing on the list, let's go ahead. Oh, I forgot. I forgot these things. These are kind of important. You know, come to think of it, I don't know why I placed ramps on this side if you just have the giant gate in the way of it. Oh well. See, so yeah, gates on two different sides. If you want to change it up, you can just make it all walls, but. I just wanted to have less walls. That that was my like my reasoning for it. Okay, so the next part is all these all these second door frames. Well, I, I can't I can't even put all of them out at once. Okay, so just for short instructions before I do a jump cut, you take these walls just like this, the arrow pointing outward. Just stack them as much as you can. Take, a, take all of them. The point of it is so you can walk through it without larger dinas that you spawn in to be an issue. I should have designed this um, the, like this rattle pen to include both small dinos and large dinos, but at least for me, I mostly just use it for any larger dinos I accidentally kill while taming. Okay, so just to show this as an example of one wall, just place these walls like that except all the way up to the top of those gates. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a lot of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a jump cut for you guys because I don't wanna have like 30 minutes of me placing walls and messing up and having to craft more, <laughs> which is probably what I have to do. So anyways, see you guys in just a minute when all these walls are all placed and we get onto the ceiling. Okay, so we are back and this is how it would look if you place all of the 152 walls for these two, like two areas. So with all those door frames, let's go ahead and hopefully I can try and get this to place with um, with the griffin on, but I'm gonna try and place all these ceilings now. I ended up having all, whoops. Okay, where's the button? There it is. All 42 ceilings, so by gosh, we're gonna have a lot of fun placing all these and I can barely see with this griffin. Let's see, gotta carefully move. I don't know where I'm aiming. Hmm, this might prove to be a little bigger of an issue than I thought. Well, I can get them halfway in the spot. Okay, one, two, and once we get a couple placed, I can place the griffin on top of it and make things a lot easier for ourselves. Gotta be really careful. Some of these are really, really buggy. I was considering placing down a bunch of, um, what, what's more called? the It's the giant, like, almost like flyer gates, but at the same time, they would have been kind of a pain to, to position because the um, valve platform is not a perfect size to even house four of them. You'd have to have four and then, like, six foundation, um, six ceilings, which would have been a little bit annoying in the long run. Oh, I, I missed that. Let's just go into third person. Okay, hopefully our griffin will be just fine up here. Hopefully I don't, I don't forget her. Or him. I don't remember which gender it is, actually. I just know it's a griffin. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see. One over here. One over here. I don't really mind, personally, if they get all cr like crazy and bent up, but... Okay, the, the foundation does not like being placed over here. That's going to be an issue in the long run. Well, I'll figure out that later. 
in the meantime, for the two things I'm teaming up with um, with the route platform, they shouldn't be an issue with um, with flying out. Actually, I don't believe any flyers could honestly fit through there. It might be okay as long as I don't try to tame a Dimorphodon, but at the same time, a Dimorphodon will just fly right through it. Uh, let me test out this. Let's see. Can I get... Oh. Well, there there goes our... <laughs> what we're trying to work on. Um, hmm. Can I even listen to my guy up here? Uh, come on. Okay, that actually worked. I was kind of surprised about that. Yeah, these foundations do not want to mix with this. I should also make sure that the griffin's no longer following. So we can place one foundation over here. I'm not sure if it'll continue. Okay, it does. Well, it'll look a little clunky, but at least for this side, it's nice and safe. I'm not sure if it'll fit on the opposing side, though. Oh, it does. Perfect. Okay, just, just imagine we have two extra foundations over here. So instead of um, instead of using... Let's see, how many things I did? I don't honestly remember how many found... Um, instead of using 42, um, 42 ceilings, you will need 44 for this recipe. Also, thank you so much to my griffin who pooped on top of our build today. It's like I spent so much time grinding all these materials for it. Okay, so now that this giant thing's all set up, let's go ahead and show off how the Revile platform is actually used. That's probably one of the main things I clear in this video, besides this giant build. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and... have my materials in here? Yeah, I do need the long neck rifle. Uh, I don't think I need anything else for it. Okay, so one long neck rifle, and I believe I have the remaining materials on Queen Gorgo. So one um, one thing I wanted to, like to tame um, tame for today, I did manage after a, a couple of hours one day of spending. Um, if you take a woolly rhino and you run really fast, it, ha it can kill almost anything pretty easily. I was doing that for a couple of hours, like probably a couple we like weeks ago, and trying to get unicorn, and I managed to kill a level one fifty Fiomia and a level one fifty direwolf and a one fifty on uh, on that dire bear. Um, and a level 150 moss chops all an accident and afterwards I'll be like, oh, I actually kind of want that Maybe not the moss chops because we already have two perfect moss chops So let's go ahead and try to tame up the level 150 Fiomia and the 150 direwolf because by gosh We do need both and I do like Fiomias an awful lot So let's see, uh, we do have, I don't actually, I did the math on it. We don't need the normal soothing balm I don't, actually, I'm not sure about the Fiomia stuff uh, if we had a 150 Fiomia with a three times tame multiplier, it would it wouldn't it wouldn't get a perfect tame for crops, but it doesn't eat any other kill besides that. But for the direwolf, it should be a perfect 224 tame, at least according to Dex, which I trust fairly much. Let's go ahead and just grab one soothing balm, and I'll just grab one of the minor soothing balms off the shop menu. So I'd rather save all the all the 10 times soothing balm for, I mean. Darables are important tame, but not as important as like a Giga or anything like that. Let's see, grab all of these. We should, I'll, I'll grab the ship station as well. And then we should be all set for this. So for the battle platform, the little opening right over here is where you can always um, go, like, go, go to de um, deposit your, what's it called? I was afraid the implant names, but the creature implants. Let's go ahead and first transfer over the Fiomia. Also, you can tell how much Arc Mobile I've played when normally you have 24 hours and in single player, the timer only goes on whenever you're playing. It has three hours remaining. <laughs> I've played way too much. Okay, let's go ahead and resurrect the 150 Fiomia. Sir, I spent, uh, I spent 50 inch and amber on you. And you look, why, why are you moving? The walls is kind of weird. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know they could go through doorways. <laughs> well, we'll have a little bit hard time reviving it, not reviving him, taming it, but 
at least you know their vile platform works. Hopefully, I, I know direwolves can't fit through door frames. I swear, this happens again, though, and we really, really salty. Okay, so, oh, Raptor. Oh my gosh. Well, thank goodness you're on passer for this. Come on, I just need to get to the. Why can't I get to it? There we go. Okay, I'm sorry, Fiomia, but I gotta do this. Okay, please, please don't run. I actually want to keep you as a friend. Okay, he passed out. Perfect. Thank goodness for sending at Lundog Rifles. <laughs> okay, so our Fiomia is all passed out. Let's go ahead and deposit one whole soothing ball and remote use the item. And in addition, let's go ahead and I have the chef station right over here. And since the Fiomia don't have any preferred kibble, we'll have to go ahead... Well, they have preferred kibble on PC and console, but that sadly does not count. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get some vegetables. I do always appreciate some rock carrots, so let's go ahead and grab a few of those. I'm not sure how many they actually with the soothing balm. Hopefully no more than 20. I'm so used to constantly taming Equus, or at least trying to, that I waste so much on rock carrots. Well, I shouldn't have grabbed so many. And we have for ourselves a perfect, um, perfect level 224 Fiomia. I, I don't want to name him. I mean, whoops. I keep on doing this for Dota decks. I love, I love going to the Dota decks app, but not constantly. Okay. But now you guys know that I bought Dota decks Pro because I use that often. So if you guys want to go ahead and name the Fiomia down in the comments, the Fiomia is um, a dark gray with red, um, red and black spots on it. Let's see. It is a... How did I click on it again? It's been two seconds. Okay. It is a male Fiomia. So if you have any male, male name suggestions, that would always be perfect. I don't have a saddle for him yet, but I do want to give him a gold collar eventually. He already looks kind of grumpy. Oh, well, he'll be perfect. I don't plan on dying him. I think he's perfect the way he is. Oh, he's following. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but pl please don't. I don't want to, I don't want to get attacked by the dire wolf later. Okay, I'm just on passive as well. Just in case. Okay, on to the more actual complicated tame. Now, I hope the metal door frame actually holds this time. Let's go ahead and deposit in the direwolf one. And that'll take 30 ancient armor to resurrect a 150 direwolf. Okay, now let's revive. Let's go ahead and hide behind this. Okay, perfect. A lot easier. <laughs> It actually worked. And for some reason, that did not shoot it. What the actual heck? There we go. Okay, be a good direwolf and just please pass out. I don't think- yeah, he can't damage metal. That's a good thing. All, all this time, um, gathering up materials is finally really paid off for this. Oh, you pass out yet? No, you didn't. How about now? Did you pass out yet, sir? Or ma'am? I, I don't know who you are. Oh! Oh, okay, I did, I did not hit too many times. Perfect. I was a little worried there, but we're alright. So we have this beautiful female um, dark gray and black um, female direwolf. Let's go ahead and since it is- I did look it up earlier, the 150 direwolf should tame alright with um, 5 current tortoise kibble, um, be, uh, ending up being 224 with a 3 times taming multiplier, so it should be alright gathering up that. Let's see, Carno Kibble. I'm really bad at Malphabet. Let's see, yep, there we go, Car um, Carno Kibble. And just in case, the way he says we'll need five, I don't know. I haven't tried yet a Direwolf team with only three times. I was doing the math on it. Okay, I hope my math is okay on this, because if not, I'll be ruining a perfect team. I'll be really heckin' sad on this. Okay, one Soothing Balm, and the six Carno Kibble. It's very, very dark in game. I, I don't have a torch. Let's see. Does it have a torch? I don't see any torches. I, I doubt you have any torches, Mr. Fiomia. Well, we do have our birthday hat for the, um, for the Dial once it tames up. As well, I do want to show a bunch of other skins I managed to hoard for this. Yep, 
Okay, let's see. It's still eating one kibble. Let me go ahead and double check the stats for it as well. So 150 Dire Wolf with 1,600 health. Let's see, stat calculator on Dota decks. It has perfectly average health. Uh, its stam is 598, which is actually low. It's not very good. Um, its oxygen is, let's see. Oh, wait, it's oxygen's 420. Um, that's probably low as well. No, it's average. Its food is um, 4,320, which is average. Weight is 227.8, which is average. And its melee damage is 255, which is high. Well, I'm okay with that. I mean, Stam, I do prefer Stam, but melee damage is super useful in Dire Wolf. I mostly just want to give it a good helmet, have plenty of melee damage, and that's pretty much it for it. It does have a little bit high waste points, but it should be all right. Also, its weight seems to be slightly below average compared to the average one, but not enough to be considered a low stat. I should have looked at the um, the Fiomias one as well. Oh well. I mean, the Fiomias you only need really need in the poop and stuff, so it should be all right. Okay, so it's almost on the first thing of food. Come on. You can do it. I can barely see it in the dark. I should have planned. Oh, perfect. So we have a level 224. See, my, my math was very wrong. So I didn't need five kill for that. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain about a perfectly good direwolf. So now we have a perfect level 224 direwolf, which looks fine and dandy. Let's go ahead and... I. Interesting, it's blank. So I do have, I managed to keep a hold of my party hat skin for a long time. I just want to see how it looked in the dire wolf. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so that's how the party hat skin looks. I'm just trying to rotate him. There we go. So we also have the bunny ears. Bunny ears look nice, okay. The Rex bone helmet. Okay, classic. We have nerdy glasses. Sophisticated. We have the safari hat. Better on the uh, better on the doggo than, than the human character. I also managed to use one of the top hat skins for wands and myself. And let's see. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. <laughs> the top hat skin is so tiny on him. Oh my gosh. Look at that face. <laughs> it's so hanging tiny. Okay. Let's see. Um, the trichobone helmet. That's okay. Not as good as top hat skin, but <laughs> let's see. The angel costume. I do see a lot of players using this one. It does look really nice. Let's see. The Santa hat. Out of season, but still looks cute. Let's see. The ladybug antenna. And the clown mask. Ooh, that one's terrifying. Look at those eyes. <laughs> okay, don't use the clown mask one because that one probably give you actual nightmares. Let's see. I, I'm debating between top hat permanently or or the um the party hat. Both of them are, are pretty rare skins, but I'm, I'm leaning a little more towards top hat. The top hat one's pretty good. So I do believe I have one gold collar on my character. Let's see. There we go. Let's go ahead and unequip this. That way we can give our direwolf plenty of, of, fun, of fun things to wear. By gosh, he is now very, very spoiled. Oh, she, it's a she. So yeah, the original um, Ascendant Top Hat, uh, Ascendant Top Hat, um, the Ascendant Flag Helmet I had had 443 armor, and the additional gold collar would give an additional 50. D um, while, that, while Dire Wolves cannot have saddles, this definitely helps out an awful lot, giving it almost 500 armor. So we'll probably be able to go ahead and run um, either the Hard Ice Cave, the Cave of the Strong, or rerun the Swamp Cave sometime soon. I mean, things should do all right. I love the color in this character. Let's see. It's still dark out, so you can't really see him. Let me try and get it. Let's see. There we go. So yeah, the, the cage does work for everything but Fiomias, apparently. <laughs> but I am pretty happy with this brand new build, because it, it does make things a lot easier. I did want to go ahead and tame a quest pretty soon. I've been procrastinating on anything that's useful for myself. <laughs> If you guys keep, keep, uh, keep track of the series, I, this is the only flyer I have, and if my griffin dies, I'll, I'll have to walk everywhere. So actually building this child will make it very, very easy in the long run for trying to um, try to tame a quetz or even a giga later on. I, I, I still don't actually know if gigas can damage, da damage metal. Well, I hope not. 
Anyways, our next project will either be running caves, um, the dodo project, which is still in the corner over there with all those heckin' dodos, which have once again gotten attacked by raptors. <laughs> I actually lost two of them earlier because of it. And as well, I'm gonna go ahead and finally build a greenhouse in this area. Now that we have a Fiomia all tamed up, I should be able to go ahead and make as much fertilizer and grow plants as much as I want. So I can stop spending so much um, gosh dang ancient amber on the chef station. While I love the chef station, I should probably learn how to farm by now. Anyway, the thing that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this ginormous taming pen that you can't even see easily in third person. As well, if you have a cool name suggestion for this cute little Fiomia, um, that is a male Fiomia or this female direwolf. They both look absolutely delightful, especially with this direwolf's little top hat. Oh, you can't see the top hat now. Let's see. Yeah, the top hat, it's glorious. Anyways, any new suggestions, definitely go to this cute little doggo. So that's it for the video. Hope everyone enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.